All right, now in this video, we're going to be using the duplicate tool, which is right up here next to copy and paste. So if we bring some objects in, what the duplicate do tool does is, number one, it makes a copy of whatever it is you're, you're working with. So I click the duplicate tool and we made a copy, but it also, repeats whatever action you just did. For example, if I hit it again, it's going to repeat whatever action I have done. And you can see pretty quickly something new has been made here. Let's look at this again. If I pull an object in and duplicate it, now whatever I do to this object, if I just move it over a little bit, maybe I'll move it up a little bit. I can click this as many times as I want, and each time I click it, it will move over and up. I click it again, it'll move over and up, over and up. It will also resize the thing that you're working with. So let's take a look at that. If I grab a cylinder, make it flat. Now if I duplicate it, if I rotate it just a little bit and stretch it just a little bit, what it will do is it will copy that again and again and again. And just like that, I have something that looks kind of like a seashell. If we group it, there is a shape that would be difficult to make. Now, I've discovered lots and lots and lots of different things you can do with this just by playing around with it. And there's, there's really no substitute for bringing stuff in, seeing what you can do with it. So if we take this seashell and we build something on top of it, if we just really quickly use little buddy then grouping them all together will give us something that we can duplicate and make it into something kind of cool so if I center it um, hit the duplicate button if I just want to transform this a little bit to the side, really quickly, it, it looks like something that took a long time to design when it did not. Now, like I said before, most of the things that I found that are so cool end up being stuff when you're just playing around with it. And if you're not going to play around with it, you're, you're probably not going to remember to use it when you need it. So another example that's kind of neat. You just pull a box in. We'll flatten it down. If we duplicate it, We shift it to the side, pull it up a little bit, and rotate it just a little bit. Now if I, dupl if I duplicate it around like this, it'll just make a circle. If this is something that we want to hang together and be a, a real object, we could go back, set them to overlap a little bit more, and 
and then they'll be connected as we duplicate it around. So this time they're overlapping a little bit, hitting duplicate, fills it in just right. If I had shifted it back a little bit, so I'm going to go back, I'll reduplicate this little piece. I'm going to do everything I just did, make sure they're overlapping, but I'm going to shift it back a hair as well as rotate it and pull it up. Now this time it'll make what's more like a spiral going back through the air. This is something that could turn into a really cool project really quickly and easily. Just to make one more piece to demonstrate it. Now if I take this thing that I've made and I simply select it, duplicate, rotate it, that much, you can pretty quickly see that there's a lot of possibilities here. So again and this is especially true with this tool you need to, to get in here and play with it touch it see what it does try fail make mistakes but you could be designing stuff that even you wouldn't expect if you just give it a try so i hope you found this useful thank you very much